Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and today I wanted to review Facebook. I wanted to take a look at this chart, and my prediction on this is that Facebook is lower. I'm saying that because ever since the stock gap down in the earnings here, it hasn't done anything right. Someone asked me about this stock way back here in the middle of December and said about buying it. I said, no, it doesn't look right. I don't think this is right. It doesn't look good to me. And, and I even see this now today, a couple days left at the end of the year, it still doesn't look good to me. The market is, is close to the highs. Facebook is not near the highs. Facebook has not been able to recover since the day of the earnings when it gapped down. This was a valid short. It rated more than 20 points of the day. You could have shorted it. You could have done an option trade in it for a week. It dropped, you know, almost 10 points right after the earnings happened. You could have been in a short-term swing trade or even done a, an option trade. And it still looks lower even here now to me. In fact... this definitely looks lower I mean this looks look this is the next target for this it's just you know how long will it take to get there around 10, 109 108 the point I'm trying to make is the power of the gap which is something that I discussed in all the webinars that I do it's you know the reason that I trade gaps is that they're very very powerful when I created my rating system I wanted to follow institutional money and the reason for that is because that's what directs the movement of stocks, whether they get bought or sold off or shorted. In the case of Facebook here, again, this gap that happened on the earnings on November 3rd, the stock really did gap down. It was a short end of the day. You could have shorted it and made money. And like I said, you could have done it in here. It opened at 122 and dropped in a week down to 113.55. And you could have done an option in it and you could have done a swing trade and you still could be in it um, as an overnight, depending on how long out you would do a swing trade but the power of the gap shows you for the follow through, for the continuation. Not every gap that I trade as a day trade or even an option trade has follow through, but some do. How do you know the rating, the rating system, the rating system. And I will tell you that the ones that rate higher on the 26 point system do have follow through for longer term trades. And so I think it is extremely important when you decide to take a position in something to know what you're doing. Is the stock being bought by institutional money or is it being sold off? When people were asking me about this in here about buying it, I said I didn't like it. I don't know if that person did the trade or bought it in here. It didn't look good here. It doesn't look good here. The stock never recovered from the day of the earnings gap down. Yes, it did trade over the high of the gap, but that doesn't mean it recovered. It didn't. You see here how it collapsed right after that? You actually have a short of this. And actually, this was a gap down. Actually, this was a gap down on this day. The day it rallied, it was a gap down that rallied, but look how it fell. So the bottom line is the stock looks lower in Facebook. The driving force behind it is the power of the gap from the failed earnings you know, that came here when it gapped down. It's had a big move already immediately after. The move itself could be even larger, could drop another 10 points. And this is why you don't just buy stocks on support. This 200 period moving average is support. The stock didn't hold it. It didn't hold it here. It didn't hold it here. The reasons to take trades have to be based on a strategy. And buying support and shorting resistance is not a strategy. You can use those things to help you in entries and for stops and targets. But it is not a strategy. So the strategy I trade is gaps. The power of the gap is real. Facebook looks like it's falling through lower from the earnings that happened back in the early November. And... Anything could happen. Could the stock gap up and recover from this? Yes, it could. But I'm telling you, looking at this here now, the way it's traded in the last six weeks, it, the stock doesn't look good. It absolutely looks lower. And, uh, you know, again, every time I look at a chart and I see how these things act, not just the day of the gap, but then even the continuation of them, I, it's really interesting to me how, how powerful gaps are. I mean, they're real institutions aren't buying the stock right now so there's no reason to be long it and in fact it looks like they've been selling it that's that's how i'm reading the chart so if you'd like to learn how to make money in the market i teach a class it's called the golden gap and you definitely have to be on the right side when you take a trade you got to be on the right side as a day trade in the moment that you're in it and i believe that you need to have a strategy in order to tell you what that side is my strategy is called the golden gap it's based on the 26 point rating system if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at The next class is in January. 
January 14th and 15th. Thanks everybody and have a great day.